hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to share and subscribe to my video so today i'm going to show you how to draft out your body pattern on your booboo we know we all love booboo so today i'm just going to show you how to do this on my other channel that is where i took my time to explain how to make this dress that i'm about to make now but on this channel i'm going to show you how to Take out your body measurement from your bubble, and these are the things I'll be using. I got this material from a, a material that I have in my cupboard, and this is a needle which I'm going to be using with a yellow thread. So let's get started. So here yeah, on my fabric, this is the right side of my fabric. This is the right side, and as you can see. This is the wrong side. Uh, what I did was I just arranged it properly, making sure both edges are all equal from the shoulder length to the side to the other side and to the bottom bit, they're all equal. So I took my time to arrange it to make sure it's all equal. So, having done this, the next thing I'm going to do here is the first measurement I'm going to start taking is from my shoulder. So, from here, you can see it's open. So, from here, the first thing I'm going to take is my shoulder measurement. So, at the neckline, I've not tidied up my neckline, so I'm going to start from half an inch. So, from half an inch here, behind the half an inch, I'll put my tape measurement like so. Make sure your edge here is equal, that's your shoulder. Make sure it's equal, it's very important that you make sure it's very equal. Then, I'll go here by half an inch here, like so. Half an inch, where's my pin? Yeah. Here. So, have we done this? I will not take my shoulder to shoulder. My shoulder to shoulder is um, what I have here is um, is seventeen inches. So, divided by two, what I have is eight point five. So, from here, I take my tape measure from here. I put it here like so. Here is eight point five. I'm going to stick my noodle in it. 8.5 so be like this. Yeah. So from there, my ham o is 19 inches. 5 by 2. What I have is 9.5 inches. So from here, I'll go like this. So here is 9.5 inches. five inches so I haven't done that the next thing I'm going to do here is I'll not take out my shoulder to my take out my vertical measurements which also my straight body measurements so from the upper part here to there I'll place it down this way from my shoulder to my Bust point is 13 inches. So here is 13 inches. I'm going to place my pin here. inches. Then from my shoulder to my under boss is 18 inches. I place my pin as well here like so. Then from my shoulder to my waist point is 27.5 inches. So yeah, I'll go like this 27.5 inches. Yeah. 
Tell point vanishes. See that. So I would know that my shoulder to my hip point is what I have is the three inches. So go like this, place it in three inches here like so. So, have we done this? I'll take up my, my my tape measure. I'll go to the other side and do the same as well. Now, as you can see, my friends, I've brought out my shoulder to shoulder. From there to there's my shoulder to shoulder, and the other side as well. From there to there's my shoulder to shoulder, which is uh, 8.5. So, have we done that? The straight line you see here, oh, sorry, the straight line you see here is the line of my from my shoulder to my hip. The other side as well is the line from my shoulder to my hip. So, now the next thing I'm going to do here is to now bring out my body measurement that my, which is also called your horizontal body measurement or your round body measurement so the first thing i'm going to bring out first is my bust point measurement so my bust point measurement here what i have here is 44 inches so if you divide 44 inches by four what i'm going to have is 11 inches So, as you can see here, the midpoint here of my booboo is my is the middle of my of my material. You see from here the midpoint, middle. So, my Ankara here, the yellow line here, the yellow lace here is my middle point. So, this is my bust point. From here, I will look for 11 inches. My bust point measure is 44 inches. I divide by 4, is 11 inches. So from here to my bust point here, I'm going to get at 11 inches. I also go to my other side as well. From here to my bust point here, also 11 inches. Then, I will also go to my underbust round. My underbust round is 39 inches. Divide by 4 is 9.7. So here is my other boss. So from here to here, I'll look for 9.7. I'll put it here like so. So from here to here, so I'll look for my 9.7. I'll put it here as well. So have we done that? What I'm going to do here is when I get to this point, this is my ham hole. My ham hole is 9.5. So when I get to the, I'll come back and explain the next step. So now I'm going to bring out my ham hole. At this point here, I will need my thread now. So from here, my ham hole is 9.5, which I got here. So my boss, my round boss point is for four inches divided by four. It gives me level. So my hand pole from here, from my, from my hand pole to my boss point is 13 inches. So here is my boss point here. This place here. Here, so here is my boss point is 13 inches here. So, spot. so from the midpoint here, I look for my round boss measurement, which is uh, 
11 inches. So I've placed it here like my midpoint. Sorry, let me put back to that funny. My midpoint here, I'll place it here like so. It's 11 inches here. 11 inches, I had one inch to it for my sewing allowance. Making it 12 inches here like so. I'll put the pin here. So now I go to my other boss. My other boss is uh, uh, the round of my other boss is 39 inches divided by 49.7. So I'll go here. Here's my other boss here. Yeah, I do for 9.7 here. Yeah. So this is 9.7. I had one inch to it to make it freer. So it's gonna be 10.7 here yeah, like so. For me it's 10.7. So yeah. So it's on the right spot 10.7. So now I need my uh, thread. From here, I'll start stitching. See, here, for me, I'm going to curve it this way. So, from here, I'll start stitching from here. This time you have to be careful when you are doing it because that's this is where my thread is going to run through So now, I'll read you back. Yep. So, have we done this? Have we done this now? The next thing I'm going to do here is to now bring out my waist measurements. the way you can see it so that you won't go injure yourself while you're doing this so my waist measurements from my shoulder to my waist is um, it's 27.5 inches so stop here stop here 27.5 inches then my run waist measurement is for two inches by by two, five divided by two, uh, four what i have is 10.6 so i go to the midst point here like so 10.6 i had one inch to eat as well making 11 inches Ten point six plus one is eleven point six so Put it in here and so then now I will take my thread. I'll start following the line to stitch. Then I'll put my hands on that 
because I don't want to move the fabric. that so okay, I'm gonna get more thread my thread has finished now I need my thread so now I'll go to the hip side my hip is 45 sorry my hip is 48 by, by 4 what I have is going to be 12 so I'm going to add one inches to it for free allowance making it 13 inches so here is my hip like, the, like I always did now from the mid part of it mid part of it here to make sure I have 13 inches so I'll leave my tape measure here like this 13 inches then I'll take my needle stitch hold it gently then I'll start stitching to meet the 13 inches This is 13 inches here. So, have we done this part? I just stitch from here to meet 13 inches. From here, like so. Stitch from there straight to 13 inches. So, have we done this part? I'll go to the bottom of my lace here. Yeah. Remember my hip was 13 inches. So here is the bottom here, yeah, like so. From here is 13 inches. Yeah. So I'm going to measure it straight. From this place like this straight down to meet by 13 inches here from my hip here this way to meet by 13 inches to be like this from here see that that's my 13 inches there straight down so I'm going to follow the shape of my ruler like so I'm going to stitch down to meet the end that is my hip point to meet the end here my mid points here straight to 13 inches that's what I'm going to do so my hip measurement is 13 inches I'm also going to take the same measurement at my bottom also to be 13 inches as well 
So I haven't done that. I'm going to apply the same method on the other side of my lace. As you can see, my friends, you know I use the yellow thread, and yellow thread you cannot see the stitching, but I use this, the yellow thread to follow the shape of my body in there. So what I'm going to do now is to take out the satin, this satin there. So my friends, this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I showed you how to draft out your body pattern from your boo boo. So this is my body shape now, from which I took my time to draft it out for my boo boo. And basically, I'm not finished the dress, but on my other channel, I'm going to finish the dress, and that is where I was able to show my viewers on how to draft out this pattern on how to cut off, cut the fabric so please go to my other channel that is where i make dresses for this channel i just give you tips and tips on how to do things in tailoring so this is how it looks like my body shape from it so if you're just uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video i've not finished this dress i still have the neckline to finish up i still have the hands to to trim out a bit so my other channel i will show you how to do those one but this one i just showed you how to take up the, my body pattern from this dress so if you like this video, please don't forget to share like the video and subscribe and keep on watching and share it to your friends as well so for now one peace one love and bye for now